Hi, my name is Masha, I'm the blonde from Coding Blonde, and it is October. So here's a pumpkin to prove that. But October is the Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I wanted to talk about this very important subject and also to showcase what people and, you know, in particular, amazing women are doing in this industry to help women to stay on top of their health and breast health in particular. So I wanted to interview my amazing friend Sienna, who is a mechanical engineer, a project manager at a medical device company, and also a co-founder of Norma, whose mission is to help you stay on top of your breast health. So without further ado, here's Sienna. Hi Sienna, how are you? I'm great, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. And thank you so much for being on my channel. I'm super excited for you to tell my audience all about Norma, all about how you can solve women's health problems using technology. Super exciting. Well, I'm really excited to talk to you too. And those are some big statements, but we're doing our, uh, our best at Norma. So excited to talk to you too. So let's just jump straight into it. Um, why is breast cancer such an important topic? Why do we need to be aware of it? Yeah, so for um, me personally, um, breast cancer has kind of always been um, something or been a part of my life. Unfortunately, my grandmother passed away from breast cancer. My aunt had breast cancer. And so I've always kind of been aware of um, this disease and known that um, it's something that I need to check for. And so um, I, you know, done breast health exams myself um, since I was, you know, a teenager even, and I, it's always something that I've been really aware of. Um, but what uh, my teammates, Lauren and Rachel, and I, I think we're kind of surprised to learn is that a lot of people aren't really aware um, of breast cancer, and um, they don't really know that, you know, it can really happen to everyone or anyone. Um, and there's a lot of misconceptions that if you don't have a family history of it, or if you're not, you know, over the age of 40 or 50 that it's not really a concern and unfortunately that's not the case and um, I think in, in the US the, st um, the statistic is that one in eight women will um, have breast cancer in their lifetime and that's really really high and so as we kind of learned that this is something um, that there's kind of a combination of lack of awareness and misconceptions around we felt like it was an important thing to to try and educate um, and then also to provide tools, um, and that's really what we're trying to do with Norma, is create some tools to help um, remember to do breast health exams and then track and record if you find anything. So that kind of know, have a baseline for what normal feels like, and um, that's where we get the name Norma. So know you're normal. Um, and then if anything changes, you kind of are more equipped to then go to your doctor and get it checked out. Yeah, that's a scary statistic, and I'm so impressed that you guys are doing something about it, that you're taking action. And could you please explain what are you guys doing with Norma and why? We're starting with an app, um, and we um, chose an app because it's um, it's pretty personal. Like most people's phones are kind of their own thing, and um, women are already um, tracking their periods and fertility and other things that are kind of analogous. And so we're starting with that, and then we're also right now kind of um, prototyping and testing a reminder device, um, which is a small kind of connected device. We call it the uh, Amazon Dash button, but for your boobs, <laughs> that you can stick in your mirror, in your shower, and it lights up once a month as a reminder to do a breast health exam, just when you're already in this space, um, in the, like where you would do it. So rather than getting an app notification that might not come at the right time, you just see it in the bathroom and you can do a self exam in the shower. So that's kind of our um, tool platform for right now. That's awesome. That's awesome. And how did that idea um, come to you? How did you guys get started? And especially, you know, like combining these different platforms. Tell me, like, what was the story behind Norma? So we actually started at a startup weekend event in Denver. Um, in May, and it was a focused event and so uh, yeah basically um, we, we just kind of formed a team as a team there uh, and that was where we really learned that um, a lot of women don't do breast health exams and don't have these kind of tools and so really that kind of core functionality of um, uh, having a way to track and record breast health exams and then a device that would help do the reminding was something that we as a team kind of found during that weekend. And um, we, you know, talked to a lot of people that weekend and um, sort of 
uh, narrowed in on that as a problem. Um, and then since then, we've been doing a lot more customer development to really understand what all the features should be. And we've actually been designing and building the app. But yeah, that weekend is kind of um, where we yeah originated. So that's awesome. It's it's wonderful to hear. Uh, I guess success stories from those weekends. Totally. Yeah, I had always been really interested in entrepreneurship, but um, it was kind of intimidating, honestly. When I was in college, like I would go to the entrepreneurs club events, and um, it seemed like people were already, you know, working on projects, and I didn't really know where to start. And so um, that event was a really kind of nice way to ease into it and to just try something out. And it was pretty low stakes because if I had come away from that weekend and it the project had never gone anywhere past then you know it would have been a great experience um and i definitely was not expecting to meet a really great team and come, come up with this idea that we we're all really passionate about and so i feel like we got really really lucky and but i love those um startup weekends and startup week and anything else that kind of gets people into the door we have spoken a lot behind the scenes about your whole experience and you told me something that kind of stuck with me that you were surprised to see how many uh, femtech companies there are out here in Colorado. Could you please tell me more about, about those and you know how those, what kind of problems those companies are addressing and how are they solving those problems? Yeah, totally. So I think in general, um, Denver is a really great place to be for health tech. And then specifically the um, kind of subset of women's health tech uh, or fem tech, there's a, a lot of companies and startups in the area. And so um, there's um, the company um, Kindara, which is a period tracking app that was started in Boulder. Um, and they were recently acquired by the company Prima Temp, which is a, a fertility tracking company. And they're actually also in the device space. Um, there are companies that help um, with tracking um, pregnancy and birth and um, postpartum care and um, just a whole range where we, um, you know, are in general are kind of, uh, we are all addressing different um, problems that women have and, and kind of um, we're able to support each other because we're kind of very complementary in a lot of ways. And so um, that's been a great um, network out here for sure. Um, and it's been great to just meet them at events around town. So. And do you have any advice for women? Because I'm sure there are some women watching this and thinking, okay, so there's this problem and I would love to solve it uh, for other women, whether it's health related or other problems that women are facing and that have not been addressed because, you know, the tech industry has been male dominated for a long time and they just don't have the same problems as we do. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes they don't even think about solving them. So. Do you, would you have any advice for a woman who is thinking about solving a problem that she is facing with technology, but just does not where does not know where to start? Yeah, I would say uh, the first. I mean, the first thing is probably once you start talking about it, you'll find out that a lot of people share the same problem. And you know, right now we're still building Norma. We don't. We have. Um, some prototypes that we're showing, um, but we, we don't actually um, have an app out yet, but still just talking to women and um, trying to understand their problem. We're finding that this is something that a lot of women face and there's a lot of them will then hear what we're doing and offer kind of creative like add-ons and solutions. And so I would say um, something that you can just start talking about and see if you, you know, meet someone who could um, work on it with you. Um, I think it's always important to have a good team and, you know, if you're a technical person, um, finding um, a designer or someone who kind of understands more of the business side is great. And if you're not um, already a technical person, then finding someone who can help um, build the solution would be great. And so, um, yeah, I think uh, just just developing it and if there's, um, you know, like kind of what we're doing with the device right now is just prototyping it, just trying to do some um, pretty inexpensive things so that we can communicate our idea better and, and show them what we're trying to do. And so I think any way that you can start to prototype even just with um, paper and even just kind of showing the whole process is um, a really good way to, to get started and start to kind of get more feedback and, and see if this is something that, uh, that people would really use and, and resonates with them. So, yeah. All the ladies out there, if you're thinking about solving problems, just go out and talk to people. 
go out, talk to people, find your team, find your crowd who will support you. You will solve these problems and it's awesome to have women like you, Sienna, in the community who are really trying to empower other women. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for answering my questions. I'm very excited to share normal with my audience. Thanks. Yeah, it was great to talk to you too. And I obviously love what you're doing so much. And so it's all this is really fun. Oh, really fun. Thank you. Air hug. I'm going to get to hug you next week. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sienna. That was awesome. And I'm so happy to have friends like you who are really doing something about the world, who are really solving real life problems and making women's lives better. And for anyone who wants to find out more about Norma and stay updated on their progress and even download the app once it's released, the link will be in the description. You can also sign up to their newsletter to receive amazing resources on breast health on the first day of each month. And of course, follow them on Instagram. I hope that this video has inspired you guys not only to stay on top of your breast health, but also to start looking for solutions to problems that we might have in our everyday lives and especially when it comes to our health because it's super important and technology is here it's a resource that we can use to solve these problems and to make a world a better and a healthier place have a wonderful time the day you're currently experiencing bye